precious God, our yes. Heavenly Father. Yes, Lord. Here we are once again, Lord God. Yes. In your presence. Yes. And God, we want to say thank you. Thank you, thank you Lord, for bringing us down to the highway and highway. Yes, Father God, allowing us to be here on this service one more day. Yes, yes. yes. Thank you, Lord God, for your presence. Yes. We've been in the midst of you, Lord God. Yes. Father God, sometimes not knowing which way to go. But God, I thank you for ordering all of our steps. Yes, God. Father God, thank you for your grace and your mercy. Yes. Father God, thank you for just allowing us to wake up early this morning. Father God, continue to bless those that are on their way. And Father God, we just want to pray for mankind all over this land. Father God, thank you, Lord, for passing me in the midst of us. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes. In the name of Jesus. God, we say we thank you. Thank you. Lord, it is in the mighty name of Jesus.
know he's great today. Anybody know he's great today? Despite the rain outside, he's still great. Amen. If he woke you up this morning, you ought to attest to the fact that he's great. Come on and give God some praise in here. Yeah, yeah, he's great. He's great, I tell you. Amen. Thank you. Because there's no one great. I searched all over. Couldn't find nobody. Amen. Amen. And some people are still searching. Looking for somebody greater. But I'm going to tell you, they won't find him. They won't find him. He's the one that sits high and looks low at the earth is his footstool. Talk about God Almighty. Do you know him this morning? We might as well get happy while the sun has behind the clouds. Might as well get happy while the sun has behind the clouds. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. Amen. We want to lift up our prayer list this morning. Lift up our prayer list. And uh, as we lift up the prayer list, there are some names that we will be taking off. You hear me mention some of those names. And I'm going to ask some of you that gave me the names to take a look. Uh, and if the list can be streamlined because it's getting rather long, amen. Uh, for those in immediate, that need, you know, immediate, uh, in, uh, imminent danger, or anything like that, oh, we pray for everybody, amen. We pray for everybody, so we don't want the list to just get so long and keep growing and keep growing, amen. In fact, we are, uh, we'll talk about that a little bit later. But we want to lift up Brother Tommy G. Lift up Brother Tommy G. and Sister Barbara and Keith Chappelle, Mama Julia D. Hart, Mama Alma Glenn, Mama Mary Byers, Mama Mary Mason. And we're going to go ahead and take her off because she's doing uh, a little bit better. Amen. Doing a little bit better. Uh, my mother. She got out of the woods. She's doing better. So I'm going to start the stream line with that name. Amen. <laughs> Sister Rosetta Aiken, Sister Hazel Smith, Annie Porter, Sister Vanessa Glenn. Amen. She's still here plugging on. Amen. Pressing on to God be the Lord. Dot Porter, Arlene Peterson, Harlan Lyles, Mary Hampton, uh, Jashetta Hubbard, and we're going to take her off. We checked on her, and she's doing well from the communication that I had, so she'll be coming off. Geraldine Giss, Betty Gladden, Geraldine Isom, Wyatt Bowman, Robert Adams, Gil Singletary, F.T. Uh, and we just used the initials again for confidential reasons. Harold Dawkins, Cora Feaster, LeBron Gita, our very own sister Aisha Spears, uh, Rosetta, uh, Rose Kiss, excuse me, honestly, Watkins, amen, and we're going to take her off, reached out, and she is doing well. Thank God for that. Thank God for that. Amen. Bishop Archie Griffin, uh, and even though that came from out of state, we'll leave him on for a little while, but hopefully we we'll hear back. And at a certain period of time, we'll take him on. But yet still, we cover all in prayer. Amen? Amen. We want to list up uh, Sister Penny's son, uh, Perez Smith. Amen. Who's in the hospital. Amen. He was in the ICU, ICU unit. And uh, he may be in a room now, but uh, Perez Smith. We want to lift up our very own Bobby Bird. Amen. Who had surgery. He had surgery, amen, and then he called me on yesterday and said, Pastor, he said, I'm not going to be there for a couple of Sundays. He said, but I'll see you on the first Sunday, uh, probably in October. So I appreciate uh, Brother Bobby reaching out to me, and we want to pray uh, for his recovery, amen. Uh, we want to lift up Angel Barker and also Marcia Smith. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I got a baby written down, I said Barker, so I'm dyslexic, I put an R in it. So, Angel Baker, amen. Thank you. Uh, Sister Marcia Smith, lift her up. I want to pray for those uh, in the earthquakes in the Morocco. There's floods all around us, amen. Those in the read it, uh, get ready, Minister Glenn. Get ready, Minister Glenn. I want to pray for the P family as that homeboy will be today at the Packet River Baptist Association building, amen. I want to pray for. Uh, Bereavement for the Gray family, Betty Gray, 
uh, the transition and also uh, say Sister Rosa Norris, Rosa Norris, want to pray for that family as well in this time of bereavement. Are there any other families that we need to lift up for bereavement? If you're waiting, raise your hand. Jennings Johnson. Okay, so the Jennings Johnson family. Okay, Jennings Johnson family. Ison family. Ison family. Amen. So we're going to pray for those uh, particular individuals from the state of Maryland. We're also going to pray for our continue our school system. Amen. For the war, uh, patients, healthcare workers, situations shake our spiritual foundation. Stop the senseless killings. COVID on the rise. Uh, flu and other pestilences, missing children, national disasters uh, such as been happening around us, uh, the earthquake and the fires, uh, amen, and the flooding. So we thank God, we thank God that he gave us another chance, another opportunity, amen. And you ought to thank God that it's not right here in the Union, it's not in Joseph, it's not in Lockhart, it's not in Gastonia, amen. But wherever it is, I want to let you know that God is in control. Look over with somebody and say, God is in control. Yeah, tell them, say, wherever it is, God is in control. Amen. That's what we lift up. We put it in the hands of the Lord because we can't take care of it. But we know a prayer answer God. We know a prayer answer God. Let us clean. Amen. God in prayer. Our God, our God and our Father, we come to you right now in the only way that we know how. Yes, God. Father God, to just say thank you. Thank you. Thank you, God, that we are here this morning, Father. Not in no merits of our own, but Father God, because you allowed us to be here. Yes, God. And Father God, we just want to say thank you. Thank you for waking us up this morning, dear God, yeah. and allowing us to see another day. Even though the day is rainy, Father God, we still have you in our hearts, Father. That's right. That's right. Father God, it doesn't matter about the weather. We still should be thinking about you and what you've done, what you're doing in our lives. Father God, we want to stop right now, Father God, to think about those people who are sick and afflicted all over this land and country. We want to think about those who names we call out on the prayer list, Father God, and yes. we just want to ask if you will just bless them, Father God, one by one and name by name. Yes, God. Father God, you know what their needs are, and Father God, we ask it if you will fulfill them. And then, Father God, those who are on the bereavement list this morning, Father God, I pray, Father God, that you bless my family because my family just happens to be on the prayer list this morning. And Father God, we ask if you will just bless all the families that are on the prayer list yeah. this morning. Yeah. And Father God, just give them some consolation this morning, Father God, yeah. that you are still in control of all those wow. situations. Yeah. And then, Father God, we have some situations that are going on in this world, Father God, that we can't control. And we have to come to you, Father God, and ask if you will just put those situations in your hand. Because, Father God, we can't control them. And because we can't control them, Father God, we're asking if you will, with your almighty hand, take care of them, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Father God, we ask you if you will just bless those situations that are in our school systems that we can't, we can't claim to control. Father God, we just only can pray for. Father God, we ask if you will those 
the, those situations with the weather that we, we can't control, we asking if you will, just Father God, do as only you can do. And now, Father God, as we we, we look out among our congregation, we ask him if you will, just pray for everyone. Oh, Father God, bless everyone under the sound of my weak voice. And now we ask if you will, just bless the man of this, this the shepherd of this flock. Father God, we ask him if you will, just lift him up this morning, dear Lord, as he prepares to come before your people and break the word of life. Father God, and we ask if you will, just let them accept it, Father God, that it may be a way for them to learn to live as, as he breaks the bread of life, Father God, and live, Father God, accordingly to your word. We bless these ministers, Father God, that sit, Father God, under you every Sunday, Father God, and we ask him if you will just lift them up, Father God, where they're torn down. Father God, and bless them where they're weak. And now, Father God, we ask if you will just bless the ministries of this church. Father God, bless them in a mighty way that they may strengthen as well. And now, Father God, we ask if you will just bless those who are unconcerned this morning, Father God. Those who don't, amen, Father God, don't know you from the free pardon of their own sins. We ask and if you will, Father God, just let them know you. Let them know what kind of God you are. And let them serve you in spirit and in truth. And now, Father God, we ask if you will, just bless. Just, just, just touch this church, Father God, just touch this congregation, this awakening congregation, and let them know, Father God, that you're real. And, and because you're real, Father God, we, we, we live and, and, and we, we swear by you, Father God, that you are the best thing that ever happened to us. We love you, Father. We love you and we can't do without you. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray it all. Amen and thank God. September the 17th, 2023. Continue to pray for those on our prayer list, families going through bereavement, and each other. Also, let us not forget that this afternoon, Pastor Mason will be the guest speaker for Mitchell Chapel Christian Church for their one-day revival beginning at 1.30 p.m. Also, let's not forget that this week, City Grove Missionary Baptist Church will be hosting their community revival beginning September the 18th through the 20th. That's Monday through Wednesday, and it begins at 6 p.m. nightly. Also, in October, New Life will be putting together their Judgment House, and this year's theme is Revenge. So if you like that information, see me following service. Also, you still have time to get your flu shot at Velocity. You can receive your flu shot vaccine at no cost at a price for a clinical trial and you may be compensated for your time and travel. I have that form if anyone is interested in filling it out and participating. Also, remember to bring your items for the Potter's House. Amen. Do we have any guests at this time to care to stand? If not, I hope each and every one of you have a blessed day in the Lord, and thank you. Thank you, thank you. We ask that you uh, take note of the announcements, govern yourselves accordingly. To God be the glory, to God be the glory. Amen. Just a few, uh, a couple of pastoral reminders, and then we're going to move right along with our worship experience. Uh, first of all, Lady Mason sends her love. She sends her love on this particular day. 
Amen. And uh, we just thank God. We just thank God for what's going on. Uh, he's given another fortitude just to hang on in there. Just to hang on in there. Amen. Amen. We'll be going to, uh, as Sister Jamie alluded to, Mr. Chapel uh, today. Uh, the uh, one day revival begins at 1 30, 1 30 promptly. They will start uh, feeding at 11 or having fellowship rather, 11 45. 11.45 to 1, 11.45 to 1, so you don't have to pick up anything uh, if you uh, desire to eat there, and the place of fellowship will be the old Mitchell Chapel up on the hill, because that's their fellowship location, uh, the dining hall, so uh, they will have 11.45 to 1, and then they'll be going to the church, amen, uh, for the revival, amen. Amen. To God be the glory. Don't forget, as Sister James said, your potter's house idols. Hey, we want to get that, keep that going. Uh, I got mine yet once again, so keep bringing those, keep bringing those, keep bringing those. If you haven't brought anything, I'll ask you to get involved, get involved. Amen. Hey, one can, one can. You can't bring with one can to God be the glory. That's good that would make less uh, someone else uh, in ministry ministry, reaching out. Uh, God loves a cheerful giver, not only in your money, not only in your money, but he loves you uh, in your uh, bringing and your blessing others. Amen. He loves you in your blessing others. Amen. Amen. So we thank God. We thank God for that. Uh, for everyone that's here. Just looking around and seeing all the expressions on the faces today. Amen. Are y'all happy? Yeah. Amen. Anybody happy to be living? Let me ask you that. Are anybody happy to be living? Yeah. yeah. Hey, to God be the glory. To God be the glory. Amen. Amen. So we thank God for that. I'm going to ask Mr. Thompson if he will to come uh, and to for our military uh, and uh, to I tell you what let's do the ushers first and then we'll bless the tithes and offers at the same time that way that way we'll be in good flow good flow so let us take up tithes and offers at this particular time let us take up tithes and offers at this particular time trustees ushers if you will come if you will come if you will come
God, and Father, we just want to say thank you. And as you give us with this opportunity to give that to you, Father, the times, I pray, Father, whatever you give, may it come from the harm we use for the building your kingdom. Thank you for giving us, Father, that we wish to just give that to you every last week. And just as well, we ask and pray that you may guide the military as only as you can. Wherever they are, Father, whatever they're doing at this particular time now, we ask for protection. We ask for as only as you would have to see, Father. Protect them, protect their families, let them know their love, and let them always keep their eyes on you. Thank you for all that you've done, and may we lean on you forevermore. In Jesus' name I do say, amen. Amen. Um, yeah, uh, we were supposed to have the hat rally today, but Everybody seemed to forget it. So as a result of that, we will have the hat rally on next Sunday doing regular service. So y'all don't let me down and let's have the hat rally as scheduled. Today we will have it next Sunday. So y'all bring your hats. And this is not only for men, for women, it's for men as well. And uh, I had scheduled the way I had it scheduled as uh, payment, you can do one hat for twenty dollars, and if you wanted to add another hat, it would be five dollars in, in addition to that. All right. Praise God.
I'll be reading out of the New King James Version, and there you will find the following inscription of God's Word. Are you there? I still hear some pages turn. Amen. Thank you all for sharing. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for sharing. Amen. Everybody needs to be looking at that word. Thank you for sharing. So there in Philippians chapter 3, beginning at verse 20, we will find the following. For our citizenship is in heaven, from which we also eagerly wait for the Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. Verse 21, for the last, who will transform our lowly body, that it may be conformed to his glorious body, according to the working by which he is able, even to subdue all things to himself. Is that what your Bible says? Amen. 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 in the presence of Almighty God. I, I simply didn't want to teach and preach this morning, not for a long period of time. Uh, amen. But I want to plan in your spirit with the Lord planted in me, uh, doing my study and doing my meditation. Uh, and I petition the Lord every week. I petition the Lord, Lord, what do we need? What do we need? What do we need to hear? Amen. What is going on uh, with your people? that we all need to hear. And this is where he led me. This is where he led me. So I want to use for a subject topic that it places in my spirit simply entitled, All In. All In. All In. Let us pray. Eternal God, our Father, I thank you. I thank you and we thank you for another day that we have never seen before. And as I stand behind the sacred desk one more time, Father God, I ask that you gird me, Father God. Give me strength and power, Father God, that only you can supply. Father God, speak to me, speak through me, that you may get the glory, that you may get all of the honor and every minute of the praise. Now, Lord, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O oh, Lord. You are my strength and you are my redeemer. All of God's children say amen, amen, and amen. All in, all in, amen. Have you ever heard uh, your mom or someone say, if you're not going to do it right, don't do it at all? How many of y'all heard that? Amen. I know I used to hear it from mama all the time. Amen. If you're not going to do it right, just don't do it at all. Well, that's the earthly side of it. That's the earthly side of it. But when it comes to the spiritual side of works, we've got to keep trying in the Lord. Amen. Because we simply don't make it the first time. And in this life, we will never make it on this side. And that's the reason that we go through the sanctification process, that we will keep on getting set apart from things that are not like God. Am I the only one in here that's made some mistakes in life? Mm. Amen. Amen. Because I made some. And as long as I live, I'll probably make a few more. But I thank God that every mistake I made, that he just didn't count me out. I thank God that he just didn't uh, let me give up and that I knew that there was a higher calling, uh, someone who I needed to be talking to to get things straightened out in my life. The fact of the matter is, is that we need to learn from our mistakes. Amen. But what are you saying, Pastor? I'm saying that we should not keep making the same mistakes over and over again. Huh? We need to put them behind us and keep going. Amen. Amen. Put them behind us and keep going. Don't, don't put them behind you and then in a few days go back and pick them back up. Amen. You need to put them behind you and keep going. So I come to tell somebody this morning that change will come. Over time, change will come. Amen. Because many of us right now know that we're not who we used to be. Uh, we're not where we used to be. We don't think like we used to think. Can I get a witness? 
in here. We don't act like we used to act. Amen. But here Paul gives us a lesson. Paul gives us a lesson in this here in chapter 3 of this letter of joy. This letter of contentment as to where Paul was and is in the Lord. He first now talks about being all in Christ. Yep. In essence, he states that I'll give of everything for the excellence of the knowledge of Christ. In other words, Paul was missing and he understood that where he used to be, that God didn't want him there anymore. Amen. And that's why God allowed him to meet Jesus on the Damascus Road. That's why Paul now sets out and he goes on three missionary journeys. Not only did he go on three, three missionary journeys, but he goes back and he checks on the churches. Can I get a witness? What are you saying, Pastor? I'm saying that every now and then we ought to check on one another. Amen. When we see somebody's having hard times and ups and downs, amen, and, and many times they may have veered from the Lord, we need to check on them. Amen. I'm not saying you need to push yourself off on them, because many times when you check on people so much, what they do is that they tend to run away from you. Amen. How do I know? Because many still running away from God. Amen. Amen. Many are still running away from God. But A, they can run. You got it. I was hoping somebody would connect the dots. You can run, but you can't hide. Ah, yeah, Paul says now, I want to know him. Who? I want to know Jesus Christ and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his sufferings. Amen. That's what Paul says. In other words, Paul says, I'm all in for whatever it takes to be on the Lord's side. And we got to have a mindset like that. Amen. We come to church every Sunday. Amen. And we say we love the Lord. And we got to have a mindset to be on the Lord's side. So I need to park right there just for a moment and ask, are you on the Lord's side? Amen. Is there anybody in here on the Lord's side? Amen. 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 And amen. Paul goes on further and says, I, I'm going to keep on pressing because I know I haven't arrived yet. Can I get a witness? That's, that's what he says now beginning in, in, in that dissertation uh, starting in verse 12 because he says not that I have already attained or am already per perfected but I press on. And I want to help somebody this morning to encourage you that you need to press on. Despite the issues, despite the circumstances, despite the sickness in your life, despite people that turn their back on you, you still need to press on. Can I get a witness in here? My Lord. Uh, Paul doesn't give up. He doesn't give up. Amen. Because he's going to do whatever it takes to be on the Lord's side. Look what he says in verse 14 uh, in, in chapter 3. He says, now I press toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. How many of you know that you don't have to stay down always in your life? Huh? If you know Jesus, then you know God. And sooner or later, amen, things are going to start looking up. I know you may be going through some hard stuff right now, hard trials, hard tribulation, but God will pick you up. Amen. The thing about us is that we have to understand our situation, our condition, and where we are. Amen. And that's what makes you be like Paul and says, I'm all in. Yeah. I'm all in. We got to cash it all in. You know how you get your paycheck and you go to the bank and you cash it? Huh? Yeah. You don't tell the teller to keep none of your money. You tell them you want all of your money. Can I get a witness? Huh? The only reason that you might leave a dollar there, amen, in a saving or a checkers account is to keep the account open. And I'm telling somebody right now that some of us need to get down on our knees to keep the account open. Can I get a witness? Because every now and then, every now and then, we need to go to the Lord and say, Lord, I can't do it on my own. 
I cannot do it on my own. My Lord. So Paul says, I press forward. Amen. What if each one of us would put a little more every day in following Christ? What if we would all do that? I'm talking from the pulpit to the back door. What if we all would just put a little bit of more every day in the following Christ? Knowing just as Paul knew that we're in this world, but we're not of this world. Hey, amen. Look over at somebody and just tell them this is not my home. Yeah, tell them, say, I'm just passing through. I'm just passing through. Now, I don't know what my time of on this side. And, and I'm not rushing it, Mr. Thompson. But I'm just passing through. And can I get a witness? And, and, and if you like me, I'm going to take it. I'm going to live as long as I can. And amen. I already told my wife I don't want nobody taking care of me if I get so that I can't take care of myself. And amen. And put me in a home somewhere. I don't want that burden on you. Just as long as I know Jesus, I'm going to be all right. Can I get a witness? And some of us ought to be like that. Some of us ought to get our stuff in the water because we're not going to be here always. Amen. Some running around don't even have no insurance. Can I get a witness? Amen. And your family got to put you in the ground simply because when we're on this side, we don't make the right plans. Huh? I know I'm right about it. And then the family argue because they're trying to get a nickel over here, a nickel over here, a dime over here, and it causes chaos. But when you get all in with the Lord, amen, he'll set you in the right mind of what we need to be doing. So what if we all would just put a little bit more every day in the following of Christ? What if we all doing that, did that, knowing just that Paul knew that we're in this world but not of this world. That takes us down to our text because this is what Paul wants us to know. He wants us to know in verse 20 that for our citizenship is in heaven. My God, I'm in this world, but I'm not of this world. I hate to tell you, but people are trying to hold on to this world. Oh yeah. Yeah, they're trying to hold on to this world. And we all need to make some changes. We all need to make some changes. Pastor Mason, everybody, we need to make some changes. For our citizenship is in heaven, from which we also eagerly wait for the Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. Because if he left, and he did, guess what? He's coming back again. He's coming back again. No man knows the day nor the hour when the Son of Man shall return. But I just stopped by New Emmanuel Divine Assignment to let you know he's coming back again. Can I get a witness? And that's why all of us need to make some changes in our lives. All of us know where we are. All of us know what we're doing. All of us know how we're walking. All of us know how we're talking. Can I get a witness? Many of us need to change our attitude. Many of us need to change our outlook. Many of us need to change our perspective. Many of us need to change our habits. Can I get a witness? The point is now that if we could see what God sees when he looks at us. Have you ever wondered what God sees when he looks at us? Huh? Have you ever thought about that? Amen. That came in my spirit while I was studying. Uh, if we could see what God sees when he looks at us. Well, let me help somebody and then we're going home. Amen. He sees us when we change the things that don't matter. Yeah. And many of us change things that don't matter. Amen. Amen. But we ought to be changing the things that do matter. Because some things uh, just won't be here always. Huh? Heaven and earth, the Bible says, shall pass away. But the word of God will be here forever. Can I get a witness? Oh, let, let me go a little bit deeper there. We can change 
I might have to run, Reverend Brown. We can change our hairstyle. But you know what? That don't matter. We can change our hair color. Let me tell you, that don't really matter. Huh? Can I get a witness in here? We can change our dress or our suit. Can we get a witness? Or any of our attire. Because we like to be looking good. Can I get a witness? We can change our cars. And many on the lease program. Because if I get tired of this one, all I got to do is trade it in. Can I get a witness? Well, let me help somebody. You need something that one of these days you're not going to be able to afford a lease. You need something that you can own. And I want to let somebody know. You right, Brent. Give him a high five. I want to let somebody know that we are all living on a lease on this side. Can I get a witness? But I want a place where I don't have to pay no more payments. I'm going to make all my payments while I'm on this side. We can change our cars. We can change our houses. And many times we change our jobs. We change friends simply because we got mad at the one that tried to tell us what we were doing wrong. Can I get a witness? We change things that don't matter, but we need to change things that do matter. The Bible said that God does not look at the outward appearance, but He looks. The heart. But in looking at the outward appearance, God sees some things that we're wearing and that we're doing and that we're going that we don't need to change. Can I get a witness? Because we can change all of those things. But one thing that we can't change, we can't change ourselves. You ought to tell somebody. And only God can do that. God is the only one that can make me come out of darkness into a marvelous light. God is the only one that can make me see past my 
because sickness had to come upon them. They they been keeping their sin. But I want to tell you, no, God's been keeping them. He keeps all of us. Amen. 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 And we can have more joy in a football game or everything else. But when we come to church, we can't even wave our hands. Huh? Yeah, I, I, I tell it like it is. Amen. But if God enables you to take another step, if God enables you to take another breath, Amen. Yeah. Then you ought to be able to do something. Yeah. Can I get a witness? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know about you, but I'm glad yeah. of who he is. Yeah. Yeah. 73 years old. Yeah. But I can still move. Have my bed. And I thank God. I thank God. Now, when we get out of here today, all the games that's going to be on, we'll be sitting right there in front of the TV. Amen. Amen. The television. Amen. 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 When they make a touchdown, we'll be jumping up and down. Amen. If we can do that for a game, how come we can't do that for God? Huh? That's all I'm looking for. I'm just asking a question. I'm just asking a question. Amen. Because it is God. I'm all in. The Bible says that any man be in Christ. He's a new preacher. Mm. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things become new. We got to learn to be new one of these days. Amen. Because of who he is. Because whenever he transformed our lowly body, that we are conformed to his glorious body according to his work. Because he's able to do all things to himself. Amen. He's able to do that. He's able to do all. There is nothing that will not be subject to God. Not one iota. And what is an iota? An iota is a dot. It says not one jot, not one tip. Amen. In the word shall we miss when he comes back again. We live in a world today, we live in a world today where some of us are half in, some of us are half out. But there's no such thing as half in and half out. We either all the way in. You got to go all the way out. Amen. There's, there's no halfway. Jesus didn't say when we die that we're going to a halfway house. <laughs> he didn't say that. The halfway house is transition for those that are prisoners in the world. And they come back to the halfway house to get acclimated to society. But guess what? You gotta look at your neighbor and say, we can bypass the halfway house. Yep, we can bypass the halfway house because it says, be transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is good and acceptable, which is your reasonable service. So we gotta be about the Lord. We gotta be about the Lord. Amen. We gotta be about the Lord. I'm talking to somebody in here this morning, perhaps. Amen. Amen. And you're not quite all in. You're not quite all in. I can't make you. I can't make you be all in. But when you look back over your life to see how good God has been in you, 
When you look back over your life and see what he's brought you through. Amen. How he's raised you up. How he kept sickness, cured sickness out of your body. How he took some of the pain that you got in your body. Amen. Amen. And he took it away. You ought to be all day. You ought to be willing to be all day. Nobody but Jesus. Nobody but Jesus. Nobody but Jesus. If you're in here this morning, if you're in here this morning, amen. First of all, I forgot I always say this for deliverance. For those that may be half in and half out, which there's no, it's not really true. We'll give you a chance to be all day. This is the call for being all in. Just tell the devil, tell the adversary that. Devil, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. I'm all in. If you're in here this morning, you want to be all in, I'm going to ask right where you are just to stay. Just right where you are just to stay. If you're not sure, you're walking that fence, amen. I can tell you which way it's going to fall. Amen. Next call is for restoration. If you're in here and you're seeking restoration, amen, to be restored, renewed, refreshed, rejuvenated by the Spirit of God because of some things that's going on in your life. You say, Lord, I, I don't have to put up with this no more. All I have to do is give to you. If that's you, Will you stand? Will you stand? I don't have to live like this. Will you stand? Amen. Amen. Now those of you that just seeking anything from the Lord, get ready for my time. Those of you that seeking anything from the Lord, <coughs> anything from the Lord, amen, I want you to stand. What you may be seeking from the Lord, anything from the Lord. Thank you. 
to your service this morning, Lord God. In the name of Jesus. Father God, continue to speak to him. Father God, prop him up on every little side. Father God, the spirit that he poured out on these that your people, Lord God. We ask that you put it back in him. In the name of Jesus. And God, we ask that you will bless. Rest rule the night with us, hence now and forever. 